I tell them to basically go get Afrin nasal spray, spray a couple pumps into their moisturizer and put it on their face and it usually compresses all their blood vessels and gets rid of the red. We have an issue here and let me explain. So I noticed a trend recently that a number of medical professionals are talking about drugs like they are talking about cosmetic in a very loosely way. And that is, in my opinion, is a big problem because although some drugs molecules are allowed to be sold over the counter or OTC, they are still considered drug with a certain amount of risk. When a pharmaceutical company releases a drug into the market, they hope that the patient follow the instruction of use and use the product as it is intended. For example, a nasal spray as a nasal spray. In that video, the dermatologist is recommending using a nasal spray containing oxymetazolin and apply it a couple of sprays into a moisturizer then apply it to your face. And that is considered a hack to replace a much more expensive prescription drug that contained the same active molecule. I know some countries are having issues with prescription drugs being super expensive and inaccessible also when it comes to medical care, but that is not an enough reason to allow us to just say this is an actual hack. Although the active molecule in the nasal spray and the prescription drug are the same, they are at a different concentration between the prescription and the nasal spray, they are in a different formulation between the two as well and as we know different concentration and different formulation affect the pharmacokinetic of the active molecule although the prescription drug rofate that contain 1% oxymetazolin is approved by the FDA it is still need to be administered under the supervision of a medical provider like a dermatologist because side effects are well known and the top one on the website of rofate is actually worsening of the rosacea itself so if you are dealing with a complicated skin concern like rosacea, I would recommend seeking a dermatologist and work with them to evaluate what type of options of treatment that you have. And as always, stay safe.